If you're going through hell, keep going. This man believes in the saying, after a storm comes a calm. The truly scary thing about undiscovered lies is that they have a greater capacity to diminish us than exposed ones. They erode our strength, our self-esteem, our very foundation. If you don't like something, change it. If you can't change it, change your attitude. That's exactly what this man did, because he had no choice. His greatest fear is not living life. He feels just an existence, an object, a machine that is programmed to do something that he has no choice on. He who is not courageous enough to take risks will accomplish nothing in life. He knows repeating himself over and over again, going round in circles is not what he wants, but needs to secure safety and happiness. The future is the only thing that gets him through. He took this route, this journey to build a future, a family, a life. Courage means to keep working a relationship, to continue seeking solutions to difficult problems and to stay focused during stressful periods. He feels the odd one out, but he knows he has no choice. He knows he is not in the right place or the right emotion. He who rides a tiger is afraid to dismount. It's a job. Grass grows, birds fly. A great man once said change does not roll in on the wheels of inevitability, but comes through continuous struggle, and so we must straighten our backs and work for our freedom. These words go through this man's mind every time he has to do what he does. But then again he thinks, if today were the last day of my life, would I want to do what I'm about to do? I know I need to change everything. Bad things do happen. How he responds to them defines his character and the quality of his life. He can choose to sit in perpetual sadness, embolized by the gravity of the loss, or he can choose to rise from the pain and treasure the most precious gift he has, life itself. People think that a liar gains victory over his victim. What he has learned is that a lie is an act of self-abdication, because one surrenders one's reality to the person to whom one lies, making that person's one's master, condemning oneself from then on to taking the sort of reality that person's view requires to be faked. The man who lies to the world is the world's slave from then on. There are no white lies. There is only the blackest of destruction and a white lie is the blackest of them all. But is this a white lie? He knows it's not. Does he know it will come down and destroy him one day? Yes. Yes, he does. <laughs>